After 11 days, 100 events, and more than 8 million in prize money awarded, the Micro Million Six's grand finale took center stage. With the promise of a 1 million guaranteed prize pool and a $150,000 first place prize, 65,397 players started this tournament and paid their $22 for a chance at life-changing money. We are down to our final nine. Hello and welcome to the Highlight Show. I'm David Tuckman. Lines are 3 million, 6 million. Terabyte all in. He has under four big blinds. Sam Anoj from Germany, not going to play. Pretty sure Kojal G's from the Netherlands is going to play with the Ace King and all those chips. You can see we have a lot of short stacks. Blinds at 3 million, 6 million. I can see Sam with only three big blinds. Terabyte with four big blinds. XUTP Blue with under six big blinds. The player in the big blind with only four and a half big blinds. Terabyte with Queen-10, Kojal G's with the Ace-King, about a 2-1 to one favorite to eliminate Terabyte. Well, not a 2-1 to one favorite anymore as Terabyte 11 flops the Stone Cold Nuts. Kojal G's drawing dead. Terabyte will double up to 62.8 million chips or 10 big blinds. The action should continue to be fast and furious with so many short stacks. For example, the player in the small blind has just over one big blind behind or a total of less than two big blinds. Action on positive chick or positive chick. Either way, from the Ukraine, he lets it go. Czar 84. Czar 84, by the way, has finished runner-up in the big $109 tournament. Angel Carduja from Colombia lets it go. Terabyte folds his button. And we certainly should see an all-in and a call. Sam Anuj from Germany, all-in. Kabuki boy, it's an automatic call with any two cards. King high, certainly going to call. Great flop here for Sam Anuj. He was ahead going in. Flops a pair of aces. Has to avoid a five on the river. And he does that, queen of diamonds. And Sam Anuj has doubled up to uh, just under 27 million chips. Still very short stacked. But he's got life. So over $150,000 for first place. The next player eliminated will take home about $5,500. Once again, the buy-in for this tournament, $22. Over 65,000 runners. Blinds continue at $3 million, $6 million. Still a lot of short stacks at this table. Action on the Colombian. With just three big blinds. He'll pick a better spot. Terabyte with a pair of deuces. He's going to let it go as well. Imagine Kabuki Boy will raise his button with ace-10. He does. He makes it 12 million. Kojal G's lets it go. Action on XUT in the big blind. One of two Ukrainians at this final table. He's going to call.
And the flop is King Ace Ace. Trip Ace is here for Kabuki Boy. And XUT is going to move all in. And obviously, this is not going to work in this particular spot, but it's hard to believe ever. Because if XUT had an ace in his hand, wouldn't he have just moved all in pre flop? By the way, a jack will actually chop this one up. Nope. Three of spades and XUT is all in and all out. The Ukrainian, gone in ninth place, earns himself $5,584. Not a bad return on investment when you consider that it only cost him $22 to get in. Kabuki Boy up to $177 million. Eight players remain. Blinds now $4 million, $8 million. Short stacks abound. Angel Carduja, he'll pick a better spot. Terabyte, also not going to get involved. Pretty sure Sam will, though. The German picks up pocket nines. And unfortunately for him, Kojal G's has got aces. This is a hand that's going to play itself every single time. And unfortunately for Sam Anuj, he will be about a 4-1 to one dog with his tournament life on the line. Now the only question is, the man M, does he move all in here? I think he almost have to, and he does. The man M moves all in. And we could see a double elimination very easily. The main pot, $85 million. There's a side pot as well, and you can see Kojal G is actually a 2-1 to one favorite against the field. Ace high flop, top set, and middle set for Sam Anouj. Another club, though, and the man M could win this one. And there's the club, the ten of clubs on the river. So top set over middle set. But four clubs out there, and the man M wins a monster pot and is now our chip leader. Sam Anouj from Germany, gone in eighth place. Takes home $8,383. We have seven players remaining. Kojal G's now down below $70 million. And the man M was our chip leader at that hand. We jump ahead a couple of hands. Currently second in chips behind Kabuki Boy. Czar 84. Going to raise the 24 million. Angel Cartuja with the King 10 suited. He's going to call off. Another one of those hands that plays itself. Ace 8 versus King 10. The Colombian at risk. Pretty good flop for the Colombian. He's still behind, but he's got a ton of outs. And that's one of them. He had a straight draw. He had a flush draw. And he could have caught a pair as well. Hits the flush. And Angel Cartuja up to 35 and a half million chips. Action folds around the Kojal G's with sixes. Under 10 big blinds for Kojal G's. And what a, what a turn of events. Pocket aces. He flops a set of aces. Unfortunately for him... Four clubs later, and he is down below 10 big blinds. Czar 84 is going to call this. In fact, he moves all in over the top. And if Kojal G's wins that hand, he is our overwhelming chip leader. And instead, he could be gone in seventh place. He's looking for a six. And now only a six. That, my friends, is not a six. Four clubs on the river and Kojal G's from the Netherlands is gone in seventh place. 
He'll add $13,903 to his bankroll, but this is going to be a tough one to swallow for quite some time for Kojil G's. Six players remain. Out of our starting field of 65,397, Czar 84, our overwhelming chip leader with 240 million chips. Still, nobody is deep. We have three players that have under four big blinds. Now, this is interesting. We've got a standard shove. I think Kabuki Boy with King 9 can actually call or move all in here. And that's good news for Positive Cheek, who's got the ace queen. He's going to call as well. Main pot, 86 million. Side pot, over 10 million. Terabyte in bad shape. This could be a double elimination. And Kabuki Boy spikes a nine. Positive Cheek picks up a gut shot. Not going to happen for him, though. Terabyte pairs his five on the river. Not enough. Kabuki Boy with the double knockout blow. Eliminating two players with his king nine. Positive Cheek had less chips going into that hand, so he finishes in sixth place from the Ukraine. He'll earn himself $22,000. Terabyte from India earns himself $36,000, and we are down to four. Czar 84 all in. Angel Cartuja going to call this, and he's got him dominated. And remember, Angel Cartuja came into this final table extremely short stacked. And Angel Cartuja looks to double up once again, and he does. Both players with two pair, but the Colombian with the ace, now up to 67 million ships. Czar 84, very healthy still, with over 230 million ships. Blinds continue at 4 million, 8 million. Czar 84 raising on the button to 16 million, or 2x. Angel Cartuja folds. Kabuki Boy. Kabuki Boy, by the way, from Romania. So the four remaining players, we have a Brazilian, a German, a Romanian, and a Colombian. Kabuki Boy, three bets. He's going to be aggressive. I don't think it's going to work. But I like aggressive play. Back over to Czar 84. It's about 20 million chips for him to call, and he's going to shove all in. You got me beat, you got me beat. Moves all in with the ace 10. Kabuki boy. He'll take a second to save face. It's fairly obvious what he's going to do. And this is only hand 16. Tons of action at this final table. Czar 84 up to 274 million ships now. Blinds now 5 million, 10 million. The man M... Clearly playing it a little bit safe, waiting for Angel Cartuja to possibly get eliminated so he can climb that pay ladder a little bit. Action on Angel Cartuja, the Colombian with 8-7 suited. He's all in for his last 50 million ships. Kabuki Boy is going to call this. He'll take his time, but he's going to call. There's the call. Pot over 100 million ships. Angel Cartuja at risk and way behind now. Two pair for Kabuki Boy. Angel Cartuja needs running cards. He's now drawing dead. And that is going to do it. The Colombian gone in fourth place. 
Not a bad payday. He turned $22 into $55,652. Amazing. Three players remain. And it was right around now that the three players decided to make a deal. Each of them securing at least six figures. $100,000 minimum. It's just astonishing when you think about it that you turn $22 into six figures. The two big stacks tangling up on this one. Ace high flop. Kabuki boy with a gut shot. Nothing there for Czar 84. That doesn't stop him. He's going to represent. He bets 19 million into 43. Czar 84 up over 300 million chips. Staying aggressive. Raising with pocket nines. Kabuki boy in the small blind. You could see a three bet here. And in fact, there's the all in. Kabuki boy all in. Czar 84 is going to call. He does make the call. Pot is 437 million chips. And there are two jacks. Not one, but two jacks. Czar 84 needs a nine. Or an eight. A nine or an eight would do it for him. Ten's not going to do it, though. And Kabuki Boy doubles up to 438 million chips. Czar 84 is now our short stack. Under seven big blinds, he's all in. Kabuki Boy looking to finish the job. He moves all in. The man M couldn't be happier. He gets out of the way. This pot, over 150 million chips. And Czar 84 is at risk. Looking for a 7 or a 6. He's now open-ended. Needs a 7, a 6, a 10, or a 5. Queen only going to pay her Kabuki boy. And Czar 84 from Germany was our chip leader for much of this final table. Is gone in third place. He does pocket $128,000 for his third place efforts, and we are heads up. Kabuki Boy with a sizable chip advantage over the Man M. But the blinds are so big, anything can happen. Kabuki Boy all in. The Man M is going to call hand 35, just 35 hands into this final table, and we could be done. But there's a deuce! There's the deuce, the man M. Hits quads now. Quads for the man M. The Brazilian doubles up to 294 million chips, and we've got a match. Kabuki Boy still in the chip lead, but not by much. been a very entertaining final table. Kabuki Boy raising on the button. The Man M calls. Top pair for the Man M. It's an amazing feat to get through 65,000 players, but at this final table, the Man M has gotten very lucky. He hasn't done anything wrong at all. The way he played the ace-king earlier on, getting it in with the deuces, he hasn't played, done anything wrong. That said, he's getting lucky. Kabuki Boy picks up a wheel draw to go along with ace-king. It's time to bet value there. And the Man M does bet $20 million. 
Kabuki Boy makes the call. And just like that, we've got a new chip leader. The Man M has taken the chip lead from Kabuki Boy. These guys about 30 big blinds deep. Get a raise and a call. Top pair for the Man M. A wheel draw for Kabuki Boy. He also has the Ace of Diamonds. He's going to check call. If a diamond comes off, it'll be interesting to see if he re tries to represent. Instead, it's a six. He's now open-ended. A three or an eight would give him the best hand. The man M checks it back. River pairs the board. Kabuka boy checks. Time to go to Value Town if you're the man M. And he does. He bets 30 million. Kabuki boy with just ace high makes the call. Another big pot headed over to the man M. Starting to build that chip lead. Up over 400 million chips. Kabuki boy at about 250 million. Jump ahead to hand 45. The man M now up to 440 million chips. Kabuki boy raising on the button. The man M moves all in. Kabuki Boy calls. Pot is 402 million chips. Kabuki Boy a favorite, but he's the one at risk. And you can't be surprised. It has been the Man M's final table, to say the least. And he is going to win it. Kabuki Boy drawing dead, headed to the river. And that is it. Kabuki Boy, what a fantastic tournament to outlast 65,395 players to come in second place, earn himself $118,000. But the man M, the Brazilian, he wins $126,000. He wins the main event. And it's just absolutely amazing to think that you turn $22 into $126,000. The Micro Million celebrates low-stakes players and puts the spotlight on them for a change as they spin up small fortunes from only a few dollars. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Reach for the stars.